Hi, welcome to Visual Studio Toolbox. I'm your host, Robert Green, and joining me today is Nayana Shrikant. Hi, Nayana. How are you doing? Hi, Robert. I'm doing good. Thank you. And we're going to look at a very exciting new feature that's just arrived in Visual Studio or recently arrived. Of course, if you watch this video a year from now, it'll be a year old, but if you're watching it more timely, it's a new feature that's arrived in Visual Studio. Before we dive into that, Nayana, I want you to introduce yourself. Hey, everyone. I'm Nayana Shrikant. I am a product manager for Visual Studio product team. All right. And what are we going to see today? Today, I'm demoing multi-project launch configuration feature in Visual Studio. And what does that give us very briefly? Sure. Uh, this feature in Visual Studio allows developers to set up and save profiles for launching specific projects within a multi-project solution in a predefined state for debugging. Okay. This simplifies the process of working with complex solutions. Cool. So let's see how it works. Let's see a demo. So if you go to the solution and right click on the solution, you have an option to set uh, so configure the startup projects, or you have another option to select from the project menu itself. Configure, select on configure startup projects. Uh, this is an existing dialog. We have not made this is not a new dialog. And here, if you look at this one, we have had current selection of the project and single startup project options were already there. And the third option was the multiple startup project. This is also an existing option that users mm -hmm. had. So in here. So we have added debug target as one of the options for these projects. If you select any projects, select a project, set this action for the project, whether you want to start without debugging or start the debugging of this particular project. And also you have an option to select debug target. You oh, can select multiple uh, such projects. For example, I select this project and I want to set a bunch of projects for my troubleshooting an issue or something. You can select multiple select such projects say, I don't want this project. I have selected a bunch of projects which are required for my debugging. Then I want to save this as profile. For example, um, I save this as test profile. Oh, nice. So earlier, when I create, when I had this option to configure multiple projects for debugging, when I want to go back to single project option, I used to lose all of the configurations that I have made for multiple projects or for single project. Because at any point of time, we were able to save one set of configuration. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason that we used to lose those configuration uh, for multiple projects. So, but now when you make such changes to these projects, we can persist those uh, the changes in the test profile. You have these small icons, which you can use to create new launch profile, or if you want to duplicate a launch profile, or delete, or, or rename the launch profile. Mm. Uh, yeah, so not just one, one uh, debug profile, you can create multiple such uh, profiles here. So say, if I want to create another profile, say, I call it, uh, Mature profile. So, and I go select a bunch of other projects where I want to debug. Then oh, I save this. That is cool. So, if you have various pieces um, and you just want to test part of the application, you could set the various pieces to start, leave everything else none, save it as a profile. Then you might have your UI profile, your services profile, your testing profile, whatever. And you can save all of those and just bounce back and forth whenever you want. That's correct. That That's is correct. cool. Yeah. So mm -hmm. once you save this profile and say click OK, and if you go back here under all the project list, you see the profiles that you have just created here. Nice. Because yeah, you can select any of the profile that you want to start the debug session with. You can do that. Not just that, you also have an option to share these profiles with your uh, team. So you see this little uh, checkbox here. So say, for example, I select Archer profile and I say that share profile option. Then I say click OK. So 
this profile is can get shared with with your team through when you check in your code to source control and any of the, the git or any of the source control that you are using so that was going to be my next question where is that saved so that if i go home and start up this project on my home computer will the profiles come by and come over as well and that's because you've checked them into source control Yes, there are the JSON files get created for this one. There are two mm -hmm. JSON files get created for uh, this this uh, feature. One is for the public profile. The, for example, when you share a profile, the shared profile will get stored in one JSON file. And there are some private profile which you don't want to share. Those profiles will get saved in another JSON file. The okay. file, which are, yeah, when you check in the file, only the shared profile JSON file will get checked into the source control. When your team checks out that particular file, they should be able to see the profiles that you have shared. Cool. And then if you, let's say, have a private profile that you're not checking into source control, but you want that available on multiple computers, do you just, what do you do? Just copy the file? Just copy the file. But yes. Where is the file? File, that? Yeah, that should be available in, in the uh, project folder itself. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, and so this is a feature of 17.11, 17.12 Preview 2. Is it coming? Is it here already? Uh, this feature is available in 17.11 Preview 2. Okay. behind the flag mm -hmm. and from 1712 preview to onwards this feature is on by default okay which kind of implies it can be turned off <laughs> it can be turned off yes all right let's see where is that that's just in options let's see that and if i'm in 1711 how would i turn it on so if you just go to tools options and you have preview features okay so under this, you should uh, multi-project. Multi, wait, I, no. Search. You have enabled. There it is, okay. Profile. Yeah. Cool. All right. And then in 17.12, it won't be under preview features anymore. Is that correct? Or it still will be? It, it will still be, but it will be on by default. Got it. Okay, cool. And then eventually it'll just be part of the product and no longer a preview feature, but I won't hold you to a date on that. <laughs> yeah, so it, it's, it will be available um, in, in GA uh, in 1712. Okay, cool. Anything else we want to talk about? So we will be creating, if you have any feedback, please feel free to give it in developer community. We have a ticket created for this. I will add okay. that in the comment section. All right. Um, and then you just did a blog post on that. We will have a link to that in the show notes. Yes, uh, we have a blog post created for this and we have a uh, detailed steps involved in the, included in the blog post. Uh, so All right. Very, very cool. That's a, that's a wonderful feature. Thanks so much for coming on and showing that to us. Thank you, Robert. One of these nice little things, although I'm sure it's a fair amount of work, but you know, for, for me as a developer, that's a nice little feature to have added to the product. So thanks so much for showing that to us. Thank you, Robert. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed that, and we will see you next time on Visual Studio Toolbox.